So blue is Democrats mm -hmm. and red is Republicans. Politics is really all about numbers. The count of votes and percentages for each side boil down to the numbers behind maps. We wanted uh, fair maps as voters and as citizens. Since last spring, Andrea Barrero's Math for Unbiased Maps group at SMU has studied maps created through redistricting, which only happens every 10 years, and there are a lot of ways to carve up Texas. It would definitely be billions, more than billions. Using a computer program, they made 1.5 million maps for Texas's congressional districts. But the one state lawmakers settled on last fall... It is very much an outlier. ...was more biased than any of the 1.5 million they made. We were actually kind of shocked, and we felt a little angry. It was very clearly biased. This middle line is a 50-50 tie. The blue dots are what a fair map would look like, giving Democrats a two-district edge. The red is where they ended up, giving Republicans a 12-district edge. Excessive political gerrymandering uh, harms the voter. In DFW, Beth Van Dyne's district became redder, calling all reds bluer, meaning primaries matter more than election days. Essentially, the outcome is predetermined almost before you show up at the polling booth in November. It's done by packing one party all together in the same district or splitting them up so much the vote doesn't matter. It's like all these districts swirl around each other like a, like a cinnamon roll. Like, what is the logic in that? And better technology and math is making the problem worse than a decade ago. If you look at the maps, you will see they are drawn on a much finer scale. In the game of numbers, adjustments on a map can change the whole equation. It harms voters on both sides, and we can demonstrate that that was happening in the Texas legislature this year. In Dallas, I'm William Joy.